Hi, I am Pixel PM. This is a video that I didn't expect to do today, but as you might have seen, Redbubble has done some changes to their website. The most important one, if you are a seller on Redbubble, is that they have started tiers. They have three different tiers, standard, premium and pro. One of the reasons I don't like this is that it is very unclear what they require from you for each tier and how you can move up in the tiers. As a standard user, which most of us would be, you have lost some things. It's not any big changes. But one big change is in the standard tier, you now have to pay fees on your earnings. This is not set as a level, like you pay 5% or something like that. This is a long table, depending on how much you have earned. And I did some math examples here. So let's say that you in a one pay period, have sold retail worth of 500 and you have set your profit margin to 20%. That would mean that you, that period would have earned a hundred dollars. Before this change, you would have got hundred dollars paid to you with the new addition of fees. And as I said, you have to go in and look in the table, a hundred dollars earning would mean that you had to pay a $34 fee. So in actuality, your earnings for selling $500 of products would be $64. That is a 12.8% of the total retail, not the 20% profit margin you set. If you sell less than that, let's say that you sell products for a hundred dollars, that would mean that you earned $20 that month. On that earning, your fee would be $9.20. So your actual earning would be $10.80 if you sold hundred dollars worth of products. And just for playing with numbers, if you sold a product for $2, the fee for that earning would be $1. As you can see, the whole system is built on the bigger a seller is, the more they can earn and the more advantages they have in their tier. That is not the reason that I decided to close my store. Selling products on Redbubble was never my main goal with this. I am fascinated by learning all kinds of things. And then I want to spread that by doing these video tutorials to other people that might want to learn as well. Creating products for Redbubble was a side product, pun intended, to my tutorials. I have since then moved on to do other types of tutorial. So the reason that I made this video today is that it wouldn't feel right for me to just ignore this fact since I have made this long series about Redbubble. Maybe you started your own Redbubble store after watching some of my videos and it wouldn't feel fair to not let you know about these changes. I am not telling you or anybody to close their store, but I am telling you that it's time for you to really get yourself informed of what this means for you. So you can make an educated decision of what is best for you. To help you do that, I have two important links in the description. One is to Redbubble's 
help section where they explain a little bit more about tiers and fees. The second one is to a YouTube channel called Detour Church. He created a very easy to understand and thorough walkthrough about what these new changes means for people selling or rental. So read the article, watch his video and make a well educated decision for yourself. As I said, for me, the decision was easy. At least I feel better now that I have made this video, even though my explanation of what is going on probably isn't the best. But take a look at the two links in the description and make the decision that is right for you. Bye.